Hey everybody, Lombardi25 here. Back again, same day as I just opened some SP Authentic earlier this morning, and of course I cannot stop myself from going back to the card shop. <laughs> I got pretty, uh, I don't know, just yeah, got the itch to go get some, uh, get something. Uh, but real quick before I open this stuff, which I'll get to in a second, um, that the patch auto that I got earlier out of um, 2015 16 authentic many if you watched it you may have known I was oblivious but apparently I afterwards I realized that this is actually from 1415 SP authentic um, uh, focus is terrible come on but anyways on the very bottom it says that and um, I guess they do they have a uh, quite a few different from the last like several years um, of authentic different stuff um, mixed in this year's which is kind of weird to me I don't think they've done that before but I could be wrong um, so anyways that was interesting realizing that after the fact uh, so I did get some more stadium club against every thing in my soul and I don't even know saying not to guess I just need to be punished or tortured but I have had mixed feelings about this up and down up and down definitely down last box but I would like to see one like a nice well I, think I got a black and white or yeah black and white parallel with the orange foil in my first box, but and I had that Omar Vizcal auto, but I'd like to see like one nice short printed something, so we'll see. Let's open it up and find out. Third box of this, my last hopefully. <laughs> and uh see so yeah, get hopefully the two autos don't come out in the very first two packs. If I get in this one, I am not opening up the second one. I'm gonna put it to the side because that was depressing. And I think I did get the first auto already. So, these must be configured this way. Uh, let's see if it's a good one. Todd Frazier. No, not autoed. It's just... Huh. That's not the, I was so scared, I thought that was the auto. <laughs> Alright. Well, it looked like, it just looked like it had like the, you know, it looked like perfect type of photo for, I guess a lot of Stadium Club ones are. Anyways, I'll, I'll stop blabbing on and wasting time. All right, so let's go through the rest of this. Um, Black uh, Salvador Perez for the Royals. Uh, Blake Snell rookie card. Not to mention another reason is for whatever. Uh, well, I know, I know the reason because it's a nice collector set. But um, on my I have a sport lot store that I put all my base on just because you know, as you all know, collectors your base kind of stacks up and. If you throw it away or whatever you do with it, that's cool, but um, that site, it's Sports Lots, has a really good way to kind of list in, um, sell your base, make a little extra money back from this addiction we have. <laughs> Just kind of, uh, and anyways, the stadium club is just selling like crazy, so. Alright, so there's something. It's an autograph. Let's see who. Did I turn it around again? No, I didn't. It's right there. Oh, that is fucking sick. For myself. IPC Galarraga. That is awesome. What are the odds? That is so cool. Anders Galarraga. Big cat himself. I have never, like, myself pulled an auto of his. I always, you know, I buy them and uh, all that sort of thing, but that is exciting. <laughs> Wow, that is that is awesome. I will treasure that. I'm gonna put that over to the side. Yay! That was really neat. Um, Madison Bumgarner gold. So I guess there's a good reason to go back. Maybe the card gods were pushing me to head over to the card shop. Alright, let's keep going. 
Now, if I do see that there looks like to be an auto in this bag, I am not going to look at it, because I want to save it to the end for the thrill. Yes. That's the auto. So it is like the second or third or something pack. It's like they're always on the top. If I ever see a box of this in a card store, I'm just going to take the entire front row <laughs> and be done for the day. Resiny Castillo Black. Ugh. What a waste he is. I think the Red Sox even let him go, right? Like a week or two ago? Speaking of the Red Sox, they were up 7 nothing. Going, like, going into the 5th or 6th. They had a big inning. And now they're winning still 8-5 in, what, the 7th? Uh, their pitching is terrible. They're just terrible, period. But, man, it's just frustrating. Well, I've got my triumphant already. See, it's just the luminous version of Dylan Betances. Hoping to get like a, you know, one of the rarer versions. I know they're obviously hard, but Gary Sanchez and Brandon Drury. Man, is that focus really bad? Seems it. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. All right. One second. I'm gonna do a little cleaning of the lenses. The very ghetto way of doing it, but or maybe turn on a light. Maybe? I don't know. Might be better. I've not got any short printed base yet either, but I know they're like two a case. Oh, I was gonna get some of that 2015 football that I've been cracking open. I was gonna get someone certified, but apparently the reason why it wasn't there today was because somebody literally bought the entire box of it that he had gotten. There's a bunch of different 15 football, so that was a bummer. He's gonna get more in eventually, but there goes chasing that hot box of 15 certified. Probably saved me some money in the long run, but still kind of a bummer. I guess the guy kind of is like a hawk. He comes in and gets it whenever they get new shipments and stuff. There's my Legends die cut. It's a nice one. Lou Gehrig. Not bad. I'm sorry. This is pretty bad camera work. I need to get a new camera, period. Alright. See, I like the, uh, I do like the products like Stadium Club that have, um, a veteran, you know, usually you get like a veteran auto with the rookie auto. Cause oh, wow, that's a, um, I think that's a pretty rare hit. Charter member Ricky Henderson. That's like the old school look and everything. I have not seen one of those yet. Let me see what the odds are on those. Charter member. Oh, come on. Is it? It's not members only, is it? No. The hell is Charter member. Well, I'll be damned. I do not see. Unless it's, I mean, it looks like a members only, but I don't. It says charter member. I mean, maybe it's a charter member of the members only because it was. <laughs> and they just don't name it that, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more time, but that's a heck of a nice or cool looking card. But if it is if it is considered the members only, it's a pretty um, it's one in 237. But I can't I don't know I can't tell if that is or not. That's what the members' choice used to look like, and that's the. Uh, even says 91 on the back. 
Is this the is this a buyback? It's not copyrighted for 2015 or 16. I am very lost. Um, J. Bruce Gold. I just want to look at one more thing. Hold on. Oh, the buybacks are 1 in 126 packs. The regular buybacks. So that might be what that is. I think that's just a regular buyback. Charter member. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't think that's the members only. Either way, kind of cool. I definitely hadn't seen it before, so that's why I was so confused. Um, Chris Bryant, Isometric. I still got my pack over here with the auto, right? Yeah. I just don't remember ever seeing. I, I've seen, <laughs> not to belabor this, but I don't. I don't remember charter member. I've always remember members only and stuff. But I know '91 was the first, the first year of Stadium Club. But whatever. Uh, so Hisishi Wakuma. The I cannot pronounce his name. Gold. The focus did not get too much better. Lou Gehrig. I always have to go through these after I film them, like I said before, and let's just see if I get out any of the short prints. And they stand out when you look at what they're, they look like, but when you're going through the box, like opening it, it's not easy to just spot. Uh, Joey Votto. At least most of them are pretty easy to tell. Oh, nice. So that's my first Corey Seager. And I know he has a short print. But out of two, out of three boxes, this is my first one of his. So that's kind of, that's just a nice period. Oh, and right behind it, a gold of Corey Seager. So I'm guessing that's not the short print, if, but still. It's very nice. It's a decent box. This is my hopes up a little again about this product. <laughs> Kettle, um, Kettle Marte rookie. Wish that guy did what I, I I drafted him high even in my fantasy league this year. I thought he was the next big shortstop. Nope. <laughs> At least not yet. Uh, Hank Aaron. Max Kepler. Kipler. And look at that. That's <laughs> Corey Seager. <laughs> Seeing a trend here? Uh, beam team. That's a nice beam team. Still haven't gotten any of the uh, variations of the beam teams either. They've all been the base version, which are the green ones, because they have different colors. And Tyler White, White rookie. A couple packs, or three packs left, and then we'll go look at the auto. Hopefully, it's a neat, nice one. Trevor Story rookie. Zach Wee rookie upside down. Michael Conforto, numbered to 99, finally. Got a uh, numbered card of one of these, any of these inserts, because that's what I've been pretty much not getting. Oh, you know what? I'm probably just annoying everybody when you watch these videos. So that's 20 of 99, nice. Although he hasn't, I want to check something real quick with that BMT. Oh god dang it. Um I feel like that beam team is a parallel. The cat is very hungry. He's it's way too early to eat though, little punk. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. You're bored, you're probably not watching anymore. Alright, here we go. Here's the, the test. Uh, 
Oh no, that's the regular card. I'm gonna say, I don't remember it being, like, having the, uh, the rays or whatever from the beam team being, like, sticking out. I thought they were mostly on the, the stock of the card. But they do. On the other ones, so. It's nothing special. I mean, it's a nice one. Curry Seeker. Just wanted to verify. Hunter Pence Gold. Can I get another Hunter Pence something? I don't remember. And Although, if you watch Fuller House, he makes an appearance on that. <laughs> Which is very weird. Spoiler alert, sorry. Uh, rookie card of Frankie Montas. Upside down Chris Bryant. High throw metric of David Price. Speaking of shitty pitchers, <laughs> I don't know if anybody has John Lester on their fantasy team or is just a Cubs fan, but man, did he get lit up today. Like, one inning, or 1.1 innings, and a shitload of runs. Wow, I saw my fantasy team ERA, like, at one something, and I was like, what happened? Alright, so here's the last auto. I think I have it wrong way. Or the second auto, I should say. It's a rookie. It is Hector Oliveira for the Braves. I have not got any of the short printed or numbered versions of the autos yet out of three boxes either. But all in all, pretty exciting pack. Got some PC. I like, uh, uh, did I say the Joey Vada gold? Gold. Um, like that I got the Galarraga. That was awesome. But, alright. Time to take a real break now. For, for reals, man. <laughs> but, uh,. Inception comes out later this week. I usually do group takes of that stuff because, I don't know, it's just not something that I like to buy boxes of. It's so hit and miss, but, and it's just all the same prospects you've been collecting for the last, like, four years and all the other Bowman products, pretty much. But there's some nice stuff that comes out of it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what else comes out in the near future. I, there is a, quite a, there's a few things, but I'm sure by then I'll be ripping more stuff. Otherwise... I've gotten my fix for a little while, and I'll see you all later. Peace.